I'm working at Hills Clinic and I translate for Spanish speaking patients. I was working at the manor house for quite a while. And that's how I got to know about the intentional faith. I carry boxes for people that can't carry them out or I would keep the line restocked up. So I work at the First Assembly of God House of Every Nation. I work in their children's ministry as well as on the worship team with my husband. Intentional Faith allows me to uh, be with the team. What we do is we get together and we go out into the city of Huntsville into the hub zones and do devotions. One of my favorite things I like to share with people is that we provide job opportunities for people who live in under-resourced neighborhoods. We employ people at service organizations such as Village of Promise, Ability Plus, A New Leash on Life, Botanical Gardens. We have been able to employ over 100 people since our inception in July of 2017. We've been able to partner with 29 other service organizations, and we've been able to establish 10 spiritual development opportunities at different locations. When Intentional Faith deploys these community ambassadors that are so deserving and just in need of caring and love, and we get to know them and we get to know their stories and meet them, and um, it impacts my life in so many ways. Well, I came to CSSA and Intentional Faith from Owens House for Women and Children at the Downtown Rescue Mission. I had been homeless with my son, my four-year-old son at the time. I could not afford childcare, it was more than my rent. And I made too much money for childcare assistance, so I had to quit my job. They gave me three weeks to try to figure it out, and I just couldn't do it. Our director had recommended me for a CCA position, and she said, Wait, they have this position open in the office, rather than being out on site, would you like to do that? And I said, yes, <laughs> absolutely. I became the lead coordinator for um, all of our CCAs. We get to go into these areas, these organizations where our ambassadors are working and we have devotional opportunities with them. And these individuals range from those that the world would call mentally challenged, all the way up to uh, engineers working in corporate America and the beauty and diversity is such a beautiful picture of what I think the kingdom of heaven is like. You know, we're at the table and we're not greedy with literal food, but we are greedy when it comes to the Word of God because He spreads the table for us and we all get served. It's not so much that we're preaching to these other people, or even teaching because the Word does that. So we all get something from that. We all get something out of it. The mission of Intentional Faith is to share the love of Jesus first and to equip those that we serve by helping them discover their God-given potential. And we do equip, we mentor, and we provide hope in Jesus' name. By me pursuing uh, my passion, it has really led me into my purpose. And it has also allowed me to help others recognize who God says they are. See, ever since I was about 10 years old, I've been wanting to preach to people at churches or whatever, wherever I can. Then nobody would let me do it because they said, you I can't read, I can't write. So I never did just try to do it no more. So one day I wrote this stuff at home and recorded it on my phone. And it was on the subject of, for convergence, won't y'all? we had ready for me to preach, so I got to do a, like a 45 minute preaching on it to make my dreams come true. Moving out of college, you always pray about what job you're going to get, and I remember praying to the Lord, I'm like, Lord, I would love to serve in the community, help at a church, and have that be my job. And it gives me that opportunity to be able to make my job serving the church. There are so many opportunities and resources that that can aid in, in future development, whether it's personal, spiritual, or professional. I'm getting a chance to, to work on a nonprofit of my own and working with these super smart, intelligent people and um, loving people that I get to work with every day. I get to have that mentorship with them and, and that devotional time with them and that prayer with them and that support with them that can't, there's, you can't replace it. You can't find it anywhere else. To be able to join God in 
what he's doing here on earth in individual lives and in our lives and to be intentional about carrying our faith out is just an incredible privilege for us at Intentional Faith. Um, I get to look around at these miraculous people and I cannot believe that I get to be a part of that, that God chose me to be a part of that, to help and be helped too every day. What would you be like if you knew who God says you are? What if?